I'm Anya. And I'm Maddie. And we're Tweaks. Twin. Tween. Geeks. Geeks. This week we are going to be reviewing the third volume of one of our favorite graphic novel collections, Bad Machinery. By John Allison. You can watch our video review of the first two volumes. In the third volume of the collection, The Case of the Simple Soul. It's about six kids who live in Tackleford, England. Three boys and three girls. Their names are Charlotte, Mildred, Shauna, Jack, Sonny, and Linton. They're all friends and solve mysteries together. But not just any mysteries, wacky mysteries. The boys are trying to figure out who's burning down all the old barns in a small village. And the girls are trying to help this big troll man find a friend. The boys and girls have different mysteries that they solve throughout the book, but they're somehow intertwined. And throughout both of these mysteries, Jack and Shauna aren't really helping because they have their minds on their crushes. You know how Shauna liked Jack in the first two volumes? Well, Jack finally likes her back. They're together now. You can call them Shaq. I ship Shaq. I don't. I don't like them together. Let me know if you ship Shaq, too. Ship Shaq. But like me, the gang aren't too pleased and rather annoyed with them. And well... In the end, all turns out. That's enough! No spoilers! Go buy the book or demand that your library carries bad machinery. My favorite character was Mildred because she was cool, funny, and full of sass. My favorite character was also Mildred. She was really, really funny, and she was the only one who had hair and style and clothes that didn't really annoy me. <sighs> but my other favorite character in the book was Charlotte because... Might I say, at some points in the book, she was sassier than Mildred. And I love my sass. sass. My favorite part was when the girls were trying to make over the big troll and put Mildred's dad's clothes on it and teach it manners. Quality humor. If making over a troll was a makeover show, I would totally watch it. TLC, are you listening? I wouldn't watch Hotter Than My Daughter, Anya's latest obsession, but I would watch Making Over a Troll. I would love to see the girls go all sin on Mr. Troll. My favorite scene was any scene with Mr. Troll in it. He's so funny. My favorite troll scene was probably when the police and the fire department were apologizing to him, and when a reporter asked if he had anything to add, he said, They gave me a fire hat! And he was wearing a suit and everything. This book is definitely Twinks approved. This book is great for kids 10 and up. Not because it's inappropriate, but there are some jokes that they might not get, and they'll probably stumble through all the Britishiness of it. <laughs> <laughs> and not just kids and tweens would like it. Teens and adults would love this book too. For anyone who's doing a little early Christmas shopping, this would be a great find under any tree for any boy or girl who loves mysteries. It's a step up from Scooby-Doo and it has that cool British cachet that all the fangirls want. British cachet! Don't do that! So that's all for now! Don't do that. <laughs> so that's all for now! Pip pip cheerio! Follow us on Instagram and Twitter! Subscribe to us on YouTube! Check back every Thursday on ComicMix.com for new videos! Next week we will review Mockingjay because it comes out tomorrow! The Rare Four Part Trilogy! Ooh. Bye! And may the odds be ever in your favor! What? Best outro yet. No, shut up. It's gonna be a t-shirt. No, it's not. <laughs>